I think you've got to Your hand is in the way. This, it's right down here. It's so now your fingers on it. Okay. See it? It's yeah. there, okay, sorry. But you're going to have to probably it. Okay, can you see me? Okay, you got it. Okay. Yeah, uh, you're out of focus. Yeah, though. go back a little bit. Better? Still out of focus. I don't know. Is that sure way to zoom if I touch it? No. Oh, it's there a zoom go. thing. Okay. It's a zoom. Yeah, you got it. Okay. 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 Okay, splitting's first. So first we have to learn how to deal with the punch. So you punch me in the head. There's my split. Other side. There's my split. Notice I just attack as I'm defending. You use the forearm to attack the eyes. On the hook, you just go right in the middle. Okay. And you just drive through. Um, let's see. On a grab, this is trouble for now. Make it simple. There, there's my split. So what I'm going to do is pull first. Then bring it right into my split. So the form does this whole thing. So if I pull and continue my form. You have a lot of different attacks built into the form. Um, on the inside of the grab, grab this hand. Yeah. Same thing, I'm just going to attack the wrist that's grabbing me with this knuckle. And that'll bring this right up to his throat. Because I'm bringing his head down. As soon as that happens, boom, go right up to his head and then push it with the other hand. Just push him back, keep him going back. Okay, now uh, he's going to do a kick. So I just do splitting, right up the middle. I aim for his groin or for his hip or for his knee. Any of the above. Depends on how fast you are, how fast he is. <coughs> you can just go for the back leg too. He's going to have a hard time getting you. And if he flicks that leg, yeah. You just keep going. Wherever you get, you just keep going. Um, let's see. Now a wrestler, he grabs me around the waist. I'm going to take the head off with my elbow. See it? And I can take the head off. Now I get the head, and go. So I get the head off, peel it up. All the way through. Drilling. Punches with the right. So I want to aim for the elbow. If I don't, I can just come up with this. So this, this is an attack and right through. Okay, that's side. I can just parry it. If I get the elbow, great. Okay. Uh, this is just the first part of drilling. Oh. Then I can come through. So on the inside, I'm going to use this to block and use my drilling to come right through to the head. I'm going to punch him in the throat, actually. One, two. On the outside, um, yeah, three. One. Okay. Now, uh, from the ground, I can always get his hand up by threatening his eyes. Then I can. So for drilling, I can just come through, follow the arm to the line of attack, the armpit if he's tall. If I can reach him, great. If not, I can break the arm. And then hit him. Okay? So again, from a grab, I get his eyes, pull it, and I step through. Notice all of this is open for a kick. I also have that. All possible with drilling. You can take the arm off. Um, a wrestler, let's say he comes in, you're going to take the head out this way and then come in. So you see, once, once you see that head dive, you go right for it. You can feed him to the punch, so we. focus? Yeah, we're good. Okay, okay. Uh, that's pretty good for drilling. Crushing is third. 
Now, on a string, we can block with the fist. We can parry with it. Then come in. So if it's a boxer and you know he's a boxer, go ahead and use it. Right? <clears throat> if it's a feint or real, it doesn't really matter. If he pulls it back, you just keep hitting it. Right? You just change your attacks all the time. Uh, from a growl, crushing likes to break. This is the name of it, right? So you break the elbow, right? And that brings it down. And then you can go for the ribs, replace, and go for the head. What do you do? This? Again, extend the arm. If he pulls with it, break it. And then you come through here, here, there, there. Do a replace. Notice I grab. And then this all leads up to a great bunch of kicks that can happen. So you have a lot of peppering going on here. Where you're just smashing, you know, with your elbow. Uh, yeah, so now we do the rest of it. So the crushing you just Literally drop her elbows right into his, his throat, his neck. And then just go right to the armpit. Right? Just break his lock, hit him. That's crushing. That's pretty good for crushing. Pounding. Straight. There's your block. Here's your pound. On a straight. There's the block, there's the pound. On the hook, you got a lot of targets. Aim for the throw and then go for the groin. Then you can get your, your break here. Then you back to the outside pound. <coughs> so if he blocks one, go low. He's not ready for this one. So you keep him off balance that way. Always change up your tactics. Um, goes to my. So again, pounding just steps off the line right away. So right when the right when the attack comes, you go out there. And again, I'm checking his neck with my forearm. I'm going to push my elbow into his throat, and that gives me space to heal. Okay. There's my pounding. Do we do grab? No. Grab. So, again, I can get his hand up, or I, if he just grabs, it's fine. I'm going to use this rotation to get my release. So these are like hammers. Pounding. He's pounding with a hammer. Right? If it's a big guy, you just pound. Okay? So the, the grab, sometimes you want them to hold on. Because when you have that, then you have all this memory is. That's his fulcrum now. So it's my fulcrum now. Because I know where he is. He can have my hand because I've got this, I have that. Eventually, I can just make him let go. Okay? And crossing. So from a straight, aiming for the head. This one likes to step behind him as much as possible. So if you see it coming, go right to the ear. You can go for the temple. You can, there's a big guy going in his armpit. That'll, that'll hurt. You can also hit him as he goes by. Uh, this time you do a hook. So on a hook, you'll see it real clear. You dive under that hook. You're like, oh, that's fine. What? And so you're taking the ribs off and going back to the back of the hand. Right here in the neck. It's good. Soft. Uh, from a grab, so from the grab, that's, you can do a lot of things, but if he's holding on, then you know where he is, you can't. So you can just attack the ribs again like you did before and come up on the inside of this. You can't see my hand hit him until it's too late. So you, get, you have the element of surprise here. And always look at a knife with these, because the knife can make it very clear the function. One, um, we do wrestling? No. Now, 
The rest of them, again, you're going to come across the head. And there's my lock. So it's crossing is the last fist, and it's moving us into resting now. It's actually moving us into tight deep. So then you can just have your crossing, and you, you walk in a circle. This is moving right into bottom. Okay? Do the other side. Okay. Yeah, so you're coming in. Even if he's got you, you just lift up the head. And there's your cross. Now, uh, sometimes do a straight. Sometimes you can do cross, you'll, you'll come around this way. And you get a throw from it with that back step. You take the arm and the leg and just throw his head to the floor. So, again, it's this evolution into wrestling crossing. Okay, that's good.